Hi there, this is Paula from Replicon. And these are some of the new features we added in Q1 of 2021. It's now possible for users to submit individual time entries before they submit their whole timesheet. The purpose of this feature is to speed up billing. A user can submit an entry as soon as they finish the work associated with that entry. Then the entry can be approved and exported right away without having to wait for the rest of the timesheet to be completed. This means customers can be billed sooner for that time and billing amounts are paid sooner. Time entries are approved much like timesheets, but they have their own approval paths. And entries can be exported using reports or the time workbench. This feature can be enabled for users by checking the Submit Time Entries option in the Time Distribution Grid or in Out plus Allocation Timesheet Templates. Replicon now supports hidden timesheet and time off custom fields that you or our custom integrations team can populate using our API. In the UI, any fields added on the timesheet or time off settings pages are hidden by default. Hidden fields are useful for storing things like identifier codes used in third party integrations, since hiding these fields prevents users from editing them. We've added two new parameters to our two previous timesheet population methods. A new option allows entries from a user's last timesheet to be copied to a new row while retaining any new entries they've added. Previously, those entries would just not have been copied over. Another new option prevents any entries without time from being copied. You can enable these options in our system level timesheet population methods. It's now possible to filter time by project name or project code, whichever is your unique project identifier when using the time workbench. This is useful for customers who need to export time for specific projects only. It saves them from having to filter for those projects post-export. You can now send department or region-specific welcome notifications to new users. However, note one limitation, that group-specific messages are only sent to new users if you add them via import or integration since those methods are the only methods that support assignment of groups when the user is being added. Those are some of the new features we added in Q1 of 2021. If you'd like more information, check out Replicon's help at www.replicon.com help, or select the help link in your settings menu. You can also subscribe to have release information delivered straight to your inbox. To subscribe, Select the customer community link in Replicon, click product updates and click follow. Then click the envelope icon and choose the every post option.